In this tutorial we will be using a free vector graphic of a book. Export sections of the graphic. Then in Cartoon Animator 5 we will using the FFD editor, Freeform Deformation, to turn the pages of the book. Our graphic file is openbook 521806one.svg. I'll be using Inkscape to edit it. Open the Layers and Object tab. First, we'll remove the page lines. Select them and hit Delete. We'll isolate the page layers, and turn them off. So, first, we want just the book cover. With the book cover selected, go to the Export tab. Notice that the image size is quite large. Go to the Documents tab, and reduce the width, to around 2000 pixels. That will reduce, all the document, including the pages. Back to the selection tab. At the bottom, rename this selection to book, and export as a PNG. Here is our new book image. Back to Inkscape. Turn off the book layers, and select one of the page layers and turn it on. Back to the Export tab, rename this selection to Page, and export as a PNG. We can see our two images. So we need to edit the page image. Open page.png with your choice of PSD editor. I'm using Brighter 5.0.6. I don't want the curved page, but I do want the page size. Add a new paint layer. Select a color, and then with the Paint Fill tool, fill in the whole page. We can now delete the layer named Background. I'm now going to rename the new layer to Page. Save the new image as Page.png. I'm going to fast forward, as I create other pages, to add to my book. Open Cartoon Animator 5. Select page 1, drag and drop it into Cartoon Animator 5 stage area, select Prop and Static Image, and hit OK. Bring up the timeline. Select the page prop, and select the FFD editor.
Select the last tab, at the top. At frame 5, select this preset. This will be the start, of our page turn. At frame 50, start deforming the prop. Leaving the first row of deforming dots on the left, select the next four rows of dots, by right clicking. Now move them all together, with the left row closer and a slightly up movement, to give a squished look to the paper. Deselect the dots, then reselect again. This time only three rows of dots. Again, moving over and slightly up, for the squish effect. For the last row, we want a slight turn down look. Going to do a little more adjustment. Go to FFD clip and drag the box from frame 1 to frame 56. We want to save this FFD clip. So, select content, then custom. Animation, then FFD motion. I'm going to create a folder for the book motions. Hit save. I'm going to name this motion, as, FFD book, turn, R dash C, for right to center. We now need a blank page for the underside of our pages. Drag and drop the blank page. We now want the page to turn, from the center, to the left. We want the same operation, but in reverse order. In these next clips, I set up the motion, later in the timeline, but we just want to save the FFD motion clip. So, you'll notice that I move the first FFD point to frame 1 and move the others to their perspective frames. Then at frame 40 I used the reset function to flatten the page down. So, now let's save the FFD clip. Again drag the box looking icon to frame 50. Hit save. Name this motion as FFD book, turn, C-L, for center to left. Let's test the motion. Start with a new project. Drag the image, 
into the stage area, doing the same operation as before. Select, our saved motion. FFT book motion, turn our dash C, and drop it on the image. Bring in a blank page. At frame 55, add the FFT book motion turn CL, on that image. Hit play, and we can see the page turn up, and then the left page turning from the center to flat. But the pages stay. Move to frame 55, select the right page. Hit the visible, invisible iron to hide that image. Now at frame 1, select the left page, and hide this image. Move ahead in the timeline, to the point where the right image disappears, and turn on the left page. Now, if we hit play, we get the simulation for pages turning in a book. Now that we have the basic FFT book motions recorded, we can apply them to any number of pages for a book. In this section of the video, I'm going to create a book with three different pages, starting off with the cover of the book. The book prop needs to be set with a negative Z axis, so the pages of the book will show up on top. As you add pages, you want to move each page behind the first. By doing this, for example, when page 1 is lifted, page 2 will show up. You also need a blank page, for the back side of each page. Now, add the turn motions we saved, to each page, in order. Adjust the visibility, and invisibility of the images. You can use the same blank page image, turning on the visibility, on and off, and using the turn from center to left motion.
Let's read the book. If you haven't done so already, please take a few seconds to subscribe, like and hit notifications, to be notified of my next video. Thank you, for joining my journey of animation. Thank <music> you.